evening all and welcome back to Factorio. I am joined as ever by a Nerdio Gamer. Hello, hello. Was there. Hello. And now, yeah, you're up there. There you are. You're up there. Yep. I am heading up here. I am good. I am good. And I am going to turn this train onto manual. How are you? I am... Uh... I was good, and my shoulder's now hurting me, but uh, I'm fine. I am fine. That's it. That's, let's go with that. Well, that's good. Let's go with I'm fine. I'm fine is a good answer. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone always appreciates it when you say, I'm fine. Yep. Yep, that's the best way. Yeah. There's never any... Uh, any... Uh, uh, what's the word? Uh... Subterfuge, I suppose, is the best way to say that. You know. Yeah, I guess so. When they say I'm fine, they must mean it. Yeah, exactly. If you say, ah, oh, so, so, they're like, oh, what's wrong? All that kind of stuff. Yeah. If you don't say I'm fine to that question, then people suspect that you want them to ask that what is wrong. Ah, yes. Yes, that is true. That is true. And it's, sometimes it's just like, nothing's wrong. No. Just... Nothing's wrong. I just, just, you know. It's just not the best day of my life. I'm just not in the good mood. Or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, it's just uh, all the whole... Uh, um, there are many things wrong, many, many things wrong, none of which you can help me with. So I'll just say you're fine. Oh, I'm mm. fine. Mm. Uh, yeah, and then no one asks. Point. There's very little points to... Uh... Exactly. Anyway, uh, yeah. <laughs> that's that's an interesting way to start the episode. It is. Um, we do have a problem um, with trains. Uh, but you just said you was fine. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine, but the now, trains are not and fine. You want to talk about, and, and now you want to talk about your problems. Oh, I yep. don't know. It's all double standards. We do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, but we do have a train with uh, uh, a train with problems. We have a problem with trains. Uh, at when don't the, we have a problem with trains? Yeah, that's true. At the junction here, with uh, between the copper and iron smelting, there's just not enough space. There are so many trains waiting there all the time, and it just holds up everything. Yes, yes, it very much does. But um, and on top of that, uh, we have no steel, pretty much. Uh, steel is is a uh, lackluster. Let's put it like like that. Yes, yeah, we have. We currently have. Uh, 208 smell trees with no speed modules in, made in steel. Yeah. So basically four li yellow lines, of yellow belts of steel. And we yeah. need six blue belts of steel. Yeah. Which is not good. Um, which, is, which is a bit of a problem. It is. And six... Well, six yellow belts or blue belts of steel means around 29 blue belts of iron ore. And we certainly have a, nowhere near that for this. Which is a... A little bit of expansion is required. I think that's kind of the theme of everything that's going on right now is uh, we just need to expand everything we have. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. Uh, so what I am thinking is if we go back to the map, I have been in and out of the map 10 times already this episode. Sorry about that. Uh, we have 170 million iron ore down here, which is nice. Uh, we have 100 million iron ore over here, which is nice. And what I want to try and do is basically put iron ore for steel plate 
on its own separate train line that is does not interact at all with our uh, let, let's call it processed goods train line and and and, and plop down steel smelting down here we do in fact have enough iron plate smelting over here that we wouldn't have to do it but because of the congestion up here in this junction i think it would be wise to move it yes yes it definitely is uh having trouble yeah so i am going to basically set up miners for this entire uh well, well the 170 million uh, iron ore to start and and you are having fun with uh smelting as well uh yeah um i built actually i haven't shown this i i last episode i was obviously playing with making the uh green circuit build which is now done and complete yep. and should have enough to make all the green circuits we need it's essentially got uh, these segments all done and there's uh, 12 of them. 12 mm -hmm. double segments but it's not getting enough copper plate because we don't have enough copper ore to keep up with our current smeltery system no uh, so so yeah um we need more we need more ore uh i did look at just adding more trains but i was looking around going like we don't actually really have any ore uh be in mind copper will be in mind at the moment uh, you know, 50 million right south of the copper smelting yeah and that's pretty much it there's a little patch up north somewhere i think i remember seeing like 13 million yeah there are a couple of, of, of small ones uh, 13 yeah. million 14 million uh five and a half million 5.2 million uh 14 million over there as well but 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 still it, it's not good enough and no way near uh, I, I was actually thinking, uh, could we make it almost so the the copper ore trains did their own little train network thing as well? It, it's almost feasible, isn't it? Uh, I mean, yeah. I think the issue is that we're forcing everything to that central roundabout. We need to do something about changing that so it's not always going to that central central roundabout. I think there is. Yeah, but what 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 if you move the uh, the the holding area, move that down south instead? Then we could basically cut off. Uh, the, the thing is with this that, is train the line outputs, the outputs um, but they could go into a round and go back up north yeah uh, maybe I mean I the way I'm more seeing it is that if I was to adjust where is the ping thing there uh, this input that line there the input there if mm -hmm. I was to move that over to the roundabout to the right mm -hmm. and have it come off off of off of that one somehow, uh, then any of the trains that I'm building now for this copper patch here and any copper patches will go up this outside line. Yeah, and shouldn't have to go to that central roundabout. But then if that doesn't work, we can always build it down the bottom and change things and do yeah. other stuffs. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That is true. All right. Yeah, there are there are many options. Hmm. All right. I am going to head down to the uh, iron ore patch and start looking that up. And remember, we, we need 30 full belts of iron ore. And, and that is an insane amount. That's a lot. It's a lot of iron ore coming in. 
It is. Well, 29, but 29.30. Potato, potato. Something in here, okay. so that I can deconstruct all of this crap. Ah, crap! I don't have any cliff explosives. Is there a few of them still in the train? So we need to sort out something for them because we're not making them anymore. So I destroyed that with the intention of remaking it and never did. Oh, good job. Yep, yeah, I thought so. When you say a few, how many is that? More than none, but less than many. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right, that, that, that sounds reasonable. Uh, uh, yeah, I think that's the... Uh... That was a good answer. The best way to describe it, I think. Mm. Let's just put down a chest or two here. We have some of this. Bye. Yeah. Well, that's just so much fun. My robots are almost out of power. I I have I have not going to suffer with that issue for a while. Um, hopefully, okay. actually, one of my robot ports is out of power. Uh, I've got two fusion reactors, five mm -hmm. robot ports, and ten batteries. Oh wow! In my suit. Um, no shields or anything. Ports. Uh, no, not in my sh not in my suit. Nope. Spidertron has got uh, four shields. Ah, Spidertron has all the defense. Yeah. Makes sense. Spidertron is the hero of this story. Yep. He sure is. Kind of like Mo Salah is going to be the villain of the story tonight. Because that is not going to be a fun game. Uh, we'll see. I mean, Liverpool's not been on a fantastic streak, so... No, that's true, but... And we've been doing okay. But we haven't been playing the likes of Liverpool. That is true. There's another one. What idiot did that? What idiot did that? Who are you calling an idiot? Me. Oh, okay. That is fine. <laughs> <laughs> no complaints then. Okay. Right. And then I should be able to just drag all of this up here. Put up, put up, put up, put up. And paste it in. Um, th this is going to be 
news to everyone, I think, e e even uh, you. Uh, but there might not be any no factorial videos from me for like three or four weeks in uh, at the end of December, beginning of January. That's not news to me. You have told me that. Before. Oh, I, I did tell you. Okay, good. It's because it's you're uh, you're uh, moving to the moon. Well, uh, I, 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 I'm moving like uh, 300 meters away, uh, or something like that. Might well, be the moon. Yeah, you know, a kilometer maybe away. You know, but uh, might as well be the moon. Yeah, but the big thing is that my dad is actually coming for a three-week visit uh, over Christmas and New Year. Which, uh, he on the moon. Well, he might as well. He lives in Denmark. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, so we, we we haven't seen each other for more than two years now because of the stupid virus virus thing. Ah, yes, that thing. Yep. Yeah. So uh, everyone's favorite thing. Yay! Yay! Yeah. So, um, so we're really. Uh, Looking forward to him coming to visit. Uh, when I say we, I mean me and my wife, not me as in I'm the queen. Something. Uh, well, yeah, I, I hope not. Be a little confused if you were the queen. Yeah. First of all, he's dead, isn't he? Uh, yeah, I get that joke, but uh, our, the Queen's not very well at the moment, so... Uh. <laughs> oh! I did not know that. I'm sorry about that. She's a... Uh, well, I mean... <laughs> it's not like I know the Queen personally. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> no, no, but she's, uh, she's your monarch, and you don't make jokes about you her know, health, then... but... I, I meant Freddy. Yeah, I, I, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's copy that. Paste these down. Oh, I actually think I saw something about that in the newspaper about uh, her. She's been ill for a while, and and uh, she had a meeting with some general or something, and there was a picture taken, and her hands are purple. Yes. Yeah. 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 That's, that's nothing to worry about. Apparently, I'm like, okay, fair enough. But um, but it's more um that she's uh obviously fairly old. Yeah, she's so, like ninety five or something. Good job to her for. for... Yeah, she had a good innings, but um, I don't know. Obviously, um, Prince Philip died. Uh, yeah, last year, and yep. it has become very apparent to anyone that is that follows her whatsoever that it's it's taken the toll on her. Okay, which you would expect. You, you would expect uh, that they were married for a long time, years, something like that. Seventy-five. Years. <laughs> yeah, really good job. Um, but, uh, yeah. I did watch quite a bit of that TV show, The Crown. Which oh, okay, I, I've not watched any of that, so I don't know how. Uh, I actually thought that was really good. Um, oh, well, that would be all, all I know is that they they got in trouble with the whole. Uh, they were portraying Diana wrong, apparently. Yeah, and and uh, also uh, the Queen's sister. Uh, she will. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, it wasn't popular how she was portrayed, I believe. Oh. Okay. Okay. Because she was portrayed as kind of selfie, I think. Uh, selfish. 
okay, well, I'll, I'll, again, I'm not privy to the raw thing, but from what I know of Anne is that she was pretty much drunk. Okay, well. For a long time, so. Um, but again, that's just what you hear in the newspapers. I don't actually know. Uh, and and obviously, when she was drunk, I was very young, so. Uh, so you didn't go boozing with her? Um, I didn't go boozing with her. Oh, no, no. Although I have met Princess Anne. Um, oh, really? Uh, yeah. Oh, well, I say met Princess Anne. I don't remember it because I was a baby. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, well, were, were you a kiss on the cheek? Uh, no, um, she was, she's an avid horse rider, um, doing, mm -hmm. uh, show jumping and things. And, uh, my father used to work for, um, uh, a farm, a very large farm in the area. And they had show jumping at their, at their place. And she came down for it. Uh -huh. I was there with my mum as a little baby. I was only less than a year old, something like that. Uh, okay. And where we were stood, Princess Anne come along riding. The horse decided it wasn't going to do that and bolted her off the horse. Oh, uh, cool. Did you point your finger and laugh at less no, than a year old? Well, so yeah. But it was my mum grabbed the horse, I think, mm -hmm. uh, whilst my dad was trying to sort out the, the show jump. And because she couldn't get a horse, Princess Anne grabbed me from my mum, which I know sounds a bit weird, but. But um, so yeah, so I was held by Princess Anne for about thirty seconds or something like that. Okay. Whilst they were trying to get the horse under control. So okay. that's my claim to fame. But of course, I was a little baby and I don't know it. Um, I don't know. I wasn't actually like aware of it at the time. But that's my uh, oh. my little claim to fame. So there we go. Mm-hmm. Yay. Very cool. Yeah. <laughs> But that's the only fame I'm ever going to get. Why did none of this get placed? I don't know. Why did none of it get placed? I don't even know where you are. What am I doing? I'm looking for a train. I'm also looking for a rail train out. Here as well, please. Unless I have rails in Spider Troll that I'm not paying attention to. Yes, I have loads of rails in Spider Troll that I'm not paying attention to. Oh, uh, uh, I tend to do that as well. I completely forget that Spider Troll has an inventory. Yep, Spider Troll has a truck. Right, let's connect all the miners uh, up to the uh, uh. system. My Spidertron is full of pipes, uh, piercing rounds, and walls, apparently. Oh, mine has all kinds of goodies. Uh, um, I, I, assembling I machines, process, processing units, uh, pipes, uh, explosive cannon shells, uh, walls, a battery... Wow. <laughs> uh, some express splitters, some long-handed inserters, some uh, low-density structures, <laughs> all kinds of stuff. Okay. Yeah, I, do, I do remember spending a little time back when I was trying to fill in the uh, um, the lake for the smelting. Uh, I was going around to sort out Spidertron because it's like... Hey, you've now got to wait 15 years for the uh, uh, things to fill up again. Ah, oh, uh, okay. So okay, you did. Wait. It's fine. So did maintenance work? I on. Did. did maintenance work. Oh, damn it. I pulled the train up here. I did pick up any underground belts. Train. Come back again. But that was no, just no. there. So what do you, uh, what is it? Is it Lee, uh, Leicester, Manchester United? No, Leicester, Chelsea in the first game today, right? Uh, do, do you know, I, I have no idea. Um, I'm a terrible football fan, me. Uh, I, you are? Uh, I I know that Arsenal are playing Liverpool today, and that's it. That's just horrible. That's the only thing that matters, let's be honest. It's, uh, well, you know... 
Uh, so long as Arsenal win and Spurs lose, I'm happy. That's that's it. That'll do me. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, what more do you want? What the hell? Uh, I, I, I want uh, Manchester United to lose and... Uh, I, I want Chelsea to lose. See, now you're just being greedy. Well, well yeah. You see, if we just win everything, then yeah, yeah. Else can win it. that is true. Then it no one else matters. If we win, then who cares about the rest? Exactly. There you go. Dang it. I'm afraid. Sorry. <laughs> it's it's the language of uh, frustration when you ah the <laughs> sacred language. Yeah. <laughs> when when you uh, think you're placing stuff and uh, in the right place and you're not. Why the heck isn't these things being placed? They were right next to me. Just place them. Belts, they're uh, the belts, the bots, they're they're revolting. They're uh, the more higher rate to pay. Well, that ain't happening. Okay, no more Spidertron while we're doing this. This is annoying. Oddly enough, I have found Spidertron is a little too, uh, uh, I want to say fat, but that's politically incorrect, isn't it? So, um, well, who cares? He's a little bit too thick. That's, that's the woke term, isn't it? Not woke, woke is the entire wrong phrase there. Jesus, I'm so old, it's terrible. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, he's fat. Let's put it that way. Yeah, um, it, it wobbles more than it walks. Mm, kind of like me. Is uh, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, it's, uh... I'm I'm not that fat. I am. Uh, I'm, I'm, I have no. I'm. I'm. I'm, not, I'm saying nothing. Either way. I know you're good, <laughs> but you're you're you're, 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 you're you're skinny, dude. <laughs> I'm I'm technically overweight, uh, according to the uh, the wonderful NHS we have here. I am technically overweight. Huh. Well, I'm technically overweight too. I think most doctors would leave out the technically, but <laughs> <laughs> who cares? Well, it's one of those things where you, you go, we, we've got this BMI, I don't know, we've got this, uh, the NHS have a BNMI chart, which tells you, you know, you, you, you tell it how tall you are, how much you weigh and how active you are. And it tells me yeah. you're overweight and you should lose, um, uh, I think it says I should lose about 12 kilos or something. I think it is. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but you're not overweight. Yeah, from, like, from the pictures I'm I've like, seen, you're not overweight. I'm like, I don't, I don't feel overweight. I got a little bit of a belly on me, but my work is very active, so I don't feel overweight. But then I don't know. I suppose, I suppose overweight people don't feel overweight. They feel fine. 
Yeah, no. Unless they hate themselves. I don't know. I suppose average people should have weight. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I've never... I've never... I've never thought about it enough to... to, uh, to worry. You know? Mm. Just like, yeah, whatever. Yeah. I'm happy. That'll do. That'll do. Yeah, exactly. But we are out of time. So we are. So, so we're going to have to leave this one here. Yeah. And come back next time. And talk about weight next time. Yeah. <laughs> this has been a very weird episode. It has a little bit. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, we hope you've enjoyed this one. I'll see you again in the next one. And until then, as always, have fun. Bye bye. <laughs>